gay people, we find ourselves in this ludicrous situation where we are not only not allowed to say publicly what we feel oppressed by, we're not even allowed to think it because the very definition, our definition, has been disallowed by our betters. People who have children are not necessarily parents. This legislation that the government is introducing, the Children and Family Relationships Bill, uh, seems primarily focused about making it possible for people in various different relationships to have children. It's not about ensuring that children have their parents. We believe it to be about Ireland's gay children and about their future. Uh, we want, in the words of the proclamation, the children of the nation to be cherished equally. Most people who have a no opinion want to keep it to themselves because the, the climate of intimidation and menace has been so acute that uh, people have been scared into silence. You know, when I think of all the children that I hear um, opposition talking about, it's all about the children. What about my child? What about other people's children that are gay? You know, the way they're being treated, what's this message going to say if it's a no? Basically our laws will have to become absolutely blind as to the sex of the parents raising a child. That the sex of the parents of a child cannot be considered in any kind of a general way as being in the best interest of children. Really my message is to parents, please talk to your children, be on the lookout for, for signs, tell them. Tell them it's okay. We are facts of nature, we're not freaks of nature. I think that the government have heavily and cleverly staffed this campaign in favour of the yes so by saying yes to equality. Initially, any human person of decent moral conscience who sees vote for equality are automatically going to say yes. My father always said, use your vote. There's plenty of countries don't even get to vote. And this is a very big important one. And I hope they do. And it's a yes.